What's good, YouTube? DM Gaming here, guys. And in today's video, I want to go over or talk about rather the truth about DLC 2. Because a lot of people are anxious for it, a lot of people are waiting for it. And there's people out there that pray against that. There's people out there that's going to tell you everything you want to hear and not what you need to hear, guys. Care about y'all, all right? Always have. <coughs> Excuse me. I always will. I am going to tell you the truth about the DLC. Okay. So I want to uh, talk about this first. We know that 1.30 was the free update. 1.40, <clears throat> more than likely DLC 2. I don't know what 1.50 is. 1.50 could be another free update, could be DLC 3. They're still working on that. They're not touching. They haven't touched the quality assurance build yet in six days, almost a week. But they've been working on the dev part a couple, you know, every day. If 1.40 is DLC 2, guys, they are done with it. I heard a video from somebody. Y'all probably already know. No shots. Just, just saying, saying that they're not done with DLC 2. That if they were done with it, it would already be out. That's not true. Perfect example. 1.30 was the free update. It was when it was released, they hadn't touched it in 18 days. This number was in 23. It said 18. Okay. It was about a week ago, a little over a week ago. So, guys, just because they're done with it, they're not gonna automatically just release it. There's a process that goes on in the gaming world that they have to like, okay. Let, let's, let me show you this map first, okay? This is just for your basic game. You have planning, pre-production, production, testing, pre-launch, launch, and post-production. Within the pre-launch phase, what's not listed here, they have to get approval from the, from the gaming companies such as Microsoft, Steam, Sony, in order to release DLC. They can't just complete it and throw it out there, okay? When you see the marketing hype, that's part of that. That's part of that. Independent advertising, that's part of that. They have to get approval for this game, for even for DLC, to release it. It has to be reviewed. It has to be priced. It has to be put up in the stores, like the Microsoft Store, the PlayStation Store, et cetera, et cetera. That stuff takes time. Also, Sony may get done with it. Microsoft may not be done with it. Steam may get done with it, okay? They're not going to release the DLC until all of the platforms that support that DLC give it the green light to release it, to put it in their stores, to sell it, and things like that. That is why you're going to see days between something being finished and something being released. As of right now, they are not touching 1.40. Therefore, we can conclude that it is done. You may say, well, Dion, what about that? 1.50. Look at here. They're still working on it. After they get done with this portion that they're working on, they'll pass it through to the quality development, you know, or whatever. This, this is done. If 1.40 is DLC 2, guys, it is finished, okay? Rejoice. It's on the horizon, guys. It, it's, it's beyond the horizon. It's coming. It is coming. The V-Jump is said to drop within two weeks, the week of the 17th, between the 15th and the 20th, 21st, something like that. I would be surprised if the DLC is not out by then. My prediction, this is my speculation, is that the DLC, by the time the next V-Jump comes out in November, the DLC 2 will already be out. And that's what the, if, if Kakarot is in the, the V-Jump, that's what I believe. I don't think they're going to put a release date in the V-Jump. I think the V-Jump is going to say something along, <coughs> excuse me. I think the V-Jump is going to say something along the lines of DLC 2 is out now. It's out. It's available now. That's my speculation. Okay. But we're talking about truths here. Okay. What's another truth? Another truth is that DLC 2, which would be here, guys, is a boss battle episode. What am I saying, Dean? We already know that. Well, since a lot of people are so anxious for it and because misinformation has been spreading that the reason they're taking so long is because they're adding stuff to the DLC, that is bullcrap. 
That is a load of crap, okay? That's not the reason the DLC is taking this long. I've explained many, 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 many times why the DLC has been taken as long as it have. It was delayed, okay? The free update was already planned and in production to come out before DLC 2. COVID happened. It pushed them back one to close to two months. Guess what? They still got to get the DLC out. They still got to get the free update out. Free update comes out first. Why? Because it was in line first. That's what Bandai paid them to work on first. Therefore, it's going to come out first. They know you want DLC too. I know you want DLC too. I want DLC too. However, they're not going to skip over something they've been working on already just to get that out. Why? Guys, I don't know. Maybe because they already have your money with the season pass. Also, from a business standpoint, which one stands to make more money? <clears throat> a boss battle episode or a cards game with microtransactions? Because, I mean, you can buy the coins. The platinum coins aren't available right now, but I'm, I believe that that's going to be something that you can physically purchase with real money. Okay? <clears throat> that stands to make them more money. And you can say, no, DLC will. And if you think for a second that DLC is good, that, that DLC pack is going to make them more money than microtransactions in the card game, you got another thing coming. Perhaps you haven't heard about Dokkan Battle. That's every month is in the Play Store for sales. From what? Dragonstones, which is what? Microtransactions. Perhaps you haven't heard about Dragon Ball Legends. Same thing. Okay. That cards game, and then like I said in yesterday's video, you got guys like Rhyme Style and Siri X that like it a lot. Somebody had the nerd to ask, is Bandai paying them? No, guys, they probably just, you ever think that somebody could just like it? Not to mention if they like it and they start purchasing stuff, it's gonna be similar to Dokkan, gonna be similar to Legends. It's gonna be popular whether you like it or not. It's not going anywhere, guys. That is a cash cow for them, okay? That's why they put it in the game. For those of y'all wondering why it's in there, that's why, because it's going to bring them revenue. Every, you you got to look at stuff from a business standpoint, guys. Okay? So, for those people that are telling you that they're adding stuff to DLC 2, that's why it's taking so long, it's a lie. That's not why. Okay? DLC 2 is going to be short. There's five things that you can count on for DLC 2. That is, it's going to be fight with Frieza. That is, you're going to get Hordes mode. You're going to get a new transformation. You're going to get some new moves and possibly more training. Guys, it's not going to be long. My bad. There's going to the guarantee that's possible. Can take that out. It's going to be a sub quest. There's going to be at least one sub quest involved. Guys, it's not going to be long. Some people saying, you know, maybe longer than DLC one with Hordes mode in there. You're already making it longer than DLC one. But as far as content, as far as playing through the DLC, guys, it's going to be short. It's not going to be long. And I'm telling you this as a warning more because, <coughs> because people are waiting so long and people are being told that it's taking a while because they're adding stuff to it. When it comes out and people see that it's not long, that it's short, not a whole lot of content aside from Hordes mode, which which I'll go over that in a different video. People are going to be upset. The first complaint you're going to hear is y'all took seven or eight months to release this and for two hours of gameplay. People are going to be upset because they're being lied to. They're being misled. Guys, I'm excited about the game. I love the game. OK, I don't mind hyping it up when it's hype. But guys, there's a difference between being a hype channel and a credible channel. I aim to be credible. And in being credible, you're going to step on toes. In being credible, you're going to have to deliver news that's not hype. You see what I'm saying? This is one of those times. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to crush your joy for DLC or anything, but this is the time to be realistic. This is the time to be real about the situation. You can be hyped. I'm, I'm excited for it, but I know what to expect. I'm not expecting something long and drawn out. I'm expecting exactly what they're telling me to expect. A boss battle episode. You should too. If you don't, you have no right to be upset when this DLC drops. Because you know what to expect, guys. Come on, man. 
So I can, I can be that type of channel that just hypes you up for everything. And I'm going to get clicks. I'm going to get views. I'm going to get subscribers out of the, out of the butt. And then when they don't deliver, I'm going to be right there with you pushing along. Hey, darn it, Bandai, you lied to us. You deceived us. No, that is bull crap, man. That's fake news. And I'm not going to do that. I have built this channel on credibility. I have been right about more things with this game than any other content creator on YouTube. That is a fact that you can check. Okay. I don't want to jeopardize that by hyping up the game, by hyping up DLC, by hyping up downloadable content, okay? I'm not going to do that to y'all. Y'all deserve better. The community deserves better. You see what I'm saying? So this is me being real, all right? And, and that's something to be excited about because you got somebody out there that's going to tell you what's real. What's real? Is it going to be fun? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. Is horse mode going to be fun? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. But it's not going to be long content, guys. They're not taking this long because they're adding stuff. Hordes mode was already planned to be in there. They didn't do that because they're taking a while on the DLC. No, they're taking a while. I've already explained why they're taking a while. Okay? So know this going in, guys. The DLC is not going to be long. If you're expecting it to be long because you've waited so long, you're going to be upset. You might as well start complaining now. You might as well start writing the Bandai now because it's going to happen 150%. Okay? That's the truth. These are truths, guys. That DLC is done. It has to go through a, a marketing approval through Sony, Microsoft, Steam, and all the platforms that's going to carry the DLC. They have to go through an approval process. They have to wait till all of those, all those are on board. Now, does Bandai know an official release date? They probably do. Are they going to release it? No. What has been their MO with this DLC? DLC 1, they released a trailer, they announced it a week later. I mean, they, they, they released a, a trailer, then they released another trailer announcing it to come out a week later. Free update gets announced, <coughs> excuse me, on a Monday, came out the next day. What makes you think they're going to give you a release date? That release date is going to come probably within a week of the release, okay? Why they do that, I have no clue. I don't have a clue, but that's how they do it, okay? Why has there not been a trailer out? Probably because there's nothing to show. Has that thought ever crossed our minds? You know, we want a trailer. We want a trailer. We want to see the DLC. There's nothing to see. We've seen it. Everything in the V-Jump scans, you've seen the DLC, guys. There's not going to be more. Only thing you're going to be seeing is actually them flying around fighting. If you have any kind of imagination and you've looked at the scans, you can already picture what that looks like. Do you really need a trailer? These are truths. You see what I'm saying? This is the truth. We don't need a trailer. We need the content to come out. We need a release date so we know when to expect it. You don't need a trailer, guys. The trailer ain't gonna show you nothing you ain't already seen. If anything, to me, the trailer is gonna spoil the content because it's gonna be short content. It's not gonna be long. I don't wanna see super attacks and stuff like the new super attacks in action. I wanna wait till I play the game and see that, okay? That was my fear with DLC 1 was that that trailer was gonna show everything the DLC had to offer. Similar to how they did before the game came out, they showed us all the cutscenes. So when we got the game, it wasn't much to be surprised about. So I'm kind of glad they not putting out a trailer. I don't need a trailer. I need the content. I need the release date. You got what I'm saying? So guys, you know, this is this a hype video? No, it's not. This is a truth video. This is a credible video, a video that you can take to the bank and cash it. And it ain't going to bounce. You got what I'm saying? I could be that hype channel. I don't want to be. I could be that channel that tells you everything you want to hear. I don't want to be. I want to be credible. You got what I'm saying? And in being credible, guys, that comes at, at some cost. Namely, you're not going to always tell people what they want to hear. And you're going to say some things that's going to be confrontational. Why? Because it's stuff that people don't want to hear. People want to hear what they want to hear. I wouldn't be a good content creator if I did that. You got what I'm saying, guys? So, like I said, this is the truth. Take it. Don't take it. That is your choice. That is your right. You have that choice. But... Yet and still, I'm still excited for the content to come out. I'm enjoying cards battles. Just wish they fixed that server <laughs> server issue. <coughs> but it's all good. I will be covering other games, guys. I've told y'all that. Um, if you follow me on Twitter. So 
you know that the channel is going to be growing beyond just Kakarot. But like I said, guys, that's the truth. That's the facts. You don't like it. That's your choice. I will be keeping y'all up to date with any news and information that drops. So subscribe to the channel. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.